Jaime Munguia put out some very interesting news, and I was going to touch on this, but he actually spoke on it before I could. And um, a lot of people don't realize it was a huge percentage of the fan base out there that felt like Jaime Munguia was very close. Or even I seen, even though I thought Canelo won, it was a lot of people out there. I had to argue on my channel that uh, it was a lot of people that thought Jaime Munguia actually won against Canelo. I'm telling you. I'll go back and pull the video up. It was a lot of people who thought Jaime Munguia actually beat Canelo. A lot of people. But um, I thought Canelo won, though. Uh, but as I say that, um, Jaime Munguia said to the fight uh, between Ar Berlanga and Canelo, he felt like he won uh, many rounds in the fight with Canelo compared to the uh, Berlanga fight and had a better performance. He says, I think it was a totally different fight. I did win many rounds in the fight. Mine was a close fight. He says, mine was a close fight. So what do y'all think uh, Mungi is saying in this? And I and I give I got to give Mungi credit as far as that because he went in there and actually tried to win the fight. Not saying Berlanga didn't try to. Well, I ain't going to say Berlanga ain't try to win the fight because he did try to get Canelo up out of there a couple of rounds. I did see that. My eyes are good enough to see that. But Munguia was giving my, uh, Canelo some trouble in that fight. He was hitting my, uh, Canelo with some stuff. And he said mine was a close fight. And he absolutely is true. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. Is Berlanga getting more credit after his fight than Mungi is? I'm just asking. I don't know. If I had to sit back and think, I don't know. I had to sit back and think for a while. Um, I think it's close, but like Munguia said, his fight was close. So uh, he, he sees why he's getting like the praise as far as the, his performance. But as far as Berlanga, his performance wasn't close against Canelo. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't close. It was a unanimous. And um, he said, mine was close, an even fight. I think I had a better performance. I think my performance in the fight was in all, better in all aspects. I threw a lot more punches against Canelo. He absolutely did let his hands fly against Canelo. To, to be honest with you, I think Munguia actually punched a little bit too much early on. And that's what led to the knockdown. He left himself open. See, Berlanga, he didn't leave himself open by punching as much as Munguia did. That didn't lead to the knockdown as much as, you know, he just got caught, Berlanga did. But with Munguia, he got caught too. But him, his punch output being so high early like that, that was a red flag for me going into the fight. Really didn't like that. Because I, as I said, Derby and Chinko and Canelo are two different people. He said, I threw a lot more punches against Canelo. Bro, Munguia probably threw the most punches against Canelo since Caleb Plant and um, Billy Joe. I was the one who was always proposing the fight. I had a lot more rounds, including, uh, above all, the first four rounds until the knockdown. Listen to that now. Munguia said, I had a lot of rounds, including, above all, the first four rounds until the knockdown. So, Munguia telling y'all, I won the first four, the four rounds. And if I go back and think of the fight, he did. He did. He was, bro, connect, Munguia was, I don't know if everybody remember that fight. I know people have short-term memory. He was running away with that fight in the beginning. Because Canelo had to start jabbing. I was like, man, Canelo been jabbing a lot in this fight. I don't know if everybody uh, noticed that. But to this day, no, people don't bring that up, though. How Canelo had to jab and jab. He didn't have to jab like that against Berlanga. Canelo had to jab in there. He was almost looking like Triple G in there. He was jabbing and jabbing. and He was throwing that jab a lot more than he did uh, Saturday. He definitely did. And he said, basically, um, 
as far as the fight between Berlanga, Magia does not believe that Berlanga was very hurt at that moment, you know, against Canelo. He said it was a good hit, but Berlanga was never really hurt. I think it was a good fight. Um, Canelo fought an intelligent fight. I think Berlanga was just surviving in the end. Munguia said, I think Berlanga was just surviving in the end. I think it was a good fight for the public. I think he said he thinks Berlanga was just surviving at the end. I don't need to see that fight. I need to see that fight, and I need to see a lot more other fights. I ain't tested. I'm not really going at, uh, like like I said, bro, Munguia was going to fight for uh, Benavidez last year. That Canelo situation would have never popped up. He would have fought Benavidez last year. And that's a fact. And I already know that. So that's why I don't put too much pressure on him. But the rest of these guys, yeah. The rest of these guys, yeah. You're going to have to find yourself in the ring with somebody. And I think it was, he said, I think it was a good fight. Canelo fought an intelligent fight. I think Berlanga was just surviving in the end. And as we can go back and think about it right now, so I'm going to give everybody a chance to think about it. Munguia was winning those rounds before he got knocked down. Uh, Munguia was... Uh, was was Munguia trying to survive in the end? I don't remember him trying to survive in the end. I remember Canelo was... It looked like Canelo was carrying him, but it wasn't, though. He wasn't carrying him. He wasn't carrying him. I felt like that at the time, but... When I seen Canelo pull the jab out, I'm like, nah, that ain't no carrying nobody. Definitely not. Even when Floyd Mayweather was carrying uh, Logan Paul, he wasn't just bringing the jab out. You know what I'm saying? Like when that jab comes out, and you're especially when you're a guy who's not uh, using it that much, that was the most I've seen Canelo use the jab in a while. So I get I gotta agree with Mungie on that one. Yeah, he definitely um had a better performance than uh Berlanga did. That's why with Mungia, after he fought Canelo, he wasn't happy that he lost. <laughs> Mungia was not smiling. He was not happy. Bro, like he was destroyed after the fight. I'm telling you, you can't you're not gonna find any pictures of Mungia smiling after that Canelo fight. Post fight, nothing. So that's why I lay off of uh, the criticism because it's nothing to criticize. He went out there, had a close fight against Canelo, and practically almost won. But was it enough to sway the fans in any kind of way? Not really. A lot of fans thought he won, though, to be honest with you. And that's a fact. But Berlanga, uh, he still had a good performance. Everything, I, everything Mungia said, I agree with. He has no reason to lie. I don't either. I don't. We don't have no dog in the fight. So that's definitely where I go with, uh, at it from that direction. But uh makes a lot of sense when you really think about it. But people forget he had a close fight. People forget that. See how see how quick fans forget about things. But uh, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.